Eyes to buy the bills of book, and eyes to buy the sales, or eyes to buy the catch the fish, and rings among the lies, or I don't want your magnolia fish, they're no good for the winter, I can buy as good as that down in Bonavista. I'm here with Max Fina in Snellville, Georgia, and Max is from Newfoundland, a province on the east coast of Canada, and he's a musician, a singer, and knows all about the culture of Newfoundland. So I'm here to ask Max some questions. Thanks for being here, Max. Oh, Appreciate you. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Newfoundland? What's special about it? What makes it different? One of the big differences of about Newfoundland is the fact that it's made up of, you know, uh, its own people, indigenous people, uh, and people from uh, from Europe, and also some immigrant groups have come in. Uh, so, uh, you know, the this group of people kind of formed a, almost a, a new set of languages, if you will. Mm. Uh, we're called Newfies. Mm. Uh, we speak Newfie, <laughs> uh, which I think is based uh, a lot on the Irish, uh, you know, influence mm. on, on, on us in uh, in Newfoundland. But Newfoundlanders are very friendly people. You know, I, I was in Windsor, and uh, this guy said, "You're from Newfoundland?" I said, "Yes, I am." He said, "Man, I went to Newfoundland." last summer and I stopped in a place called Trout River and I said to this guy, hey, uh, can you tell me where such and such a person lives? He said, sir, I can't tell you where he lives, but I'll show you. <laughs> so he got in his car and, you know, I followed him. Right. He said, here he is right there, look. There's a, a great sense of community. Absolutely. Yeah. A great sense of community. Everybody <clears throat> is important to each other, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. There's no strangers. Uh, there's some. There's a song that says, uh, "There's no price tags on the door." Of oh, nice! Land, right? Yeah. yeah, that's very cool. Now, most of the cities and towns are on the coast, right, of the Rock. Yeah. There's some, some internal cities, Gander or what have you. Yeah, there's a few, but I think most touch the, the shoreline one way or the other. So, the the biggest industry historically is fishing. The truth. Fishing, yeah, but now getting more into. Uh, mining as well okay. there's, there's, and, and oil. oil. Oil has become a big sure. thing in, in Newfoundland. I mean, look, <clears throat> there are 6,000 miles mm. of shoreline wow. around Newfoundland. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of shoreline. Yeah, right? yeah, right? yeah. So uh, uh, it's unique in that sense. And, and what's the climate like there? I mean, the summer can be beautiful, but the winter can be harsh. Would that be fair to say? Wind and rain and snow. Absolutely, yeah. They can be harsh, but uh, not as harsh as they used to be back many, many years ago. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I remember when snow was always higher than the picket fence, and really? and we'd make tunnels. Yeah. Sometimes it seemed for miles, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> because of the snow. But we're not getting as much snow as we used That's to get. That's interesting. But but it gets awfully cold in the winter. Is it? Yeah. Goodness, yeah. yeah. But beautiful summers. Beautiful summers. Uh, <clears throat> July, August, and, and, and the early part of fall is, is phenomenal. Really. So back in the day, a lot of people would go out and fish the ocean. Uh, cod would be one of the main fish. Sources, cod right? is the main fish. Really. Okay. And uh, they would bring it back in, and that industry has declined a little bit. Uh, but what's the relationship like with Newfoundlanders and the ocean? I mean, you're right there. Uh, right on the coastline, and it's a rugged coastline. It is a very rugged yeah. coastline, and uh, you know there there is a great relationship between the sea and Newfoundlanders because Newfoundlanders depend on the sea. Right. And over the years, but there's been so many people that have been lost at sea. There is a sense in which they look at the sea as 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 a graveyard in a sense. Mm. My loved one is you know so on and so forth. As a matter of fact, down in Grand Bank, they had, uh, when they built their houses, they put a, a little balcony right up in the top of the house, and they call it the Widow's Lookout. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Yeah. So if the boat was late coming in, you know, the, 
the mom or, or the widow would come, the, the wife would come out and, and pace the little balcony mm -hmm. saying, I don't see any lights or yeah, now I see a light so on and so forth. So a lot of people would perish on the ocean. Oh, we've yeah. lost an awful lot of really? people on the yeah. ocean through the years, yeah. And as I've looked at the music of Newfoundland, nearly every song is connected with the ocean or fishing. Would that be true? It is. Newfoundlanders have this, they have this sense of being able to write how they feel, mm. right? So most of the songs of Newfoundland are songs that relate to an experience mm. they had or a story you know, that they, they have had in life, what have you. Uh, but it always has to do with some kind of experience. Mm. Some of them are enhanced, you know, uh, like the story of the guy in, New, in, in Carmenville uh, who decided one night they were going over to steal a cow <laughs> and cook a scoff. But when they got over, the cow got mad, so they killed the sheep instead. Okay. You know, so, so they came home and cooked the sheep, so on and so forth. The stories like that, they enhance them, yeah. and so on and so forth. And there's a great, there's a great storyteller in uh, in Carmenville where Lenny lived. Mm. His name was Ellis Coles. I mean, he could tell a story like yeah. nobody else. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when you get together as a community, obviously some people would go to the bar, I suppose, and you you have a lot of fun and frivolity that sense of enjoyment of life is in Newfoundlanders too. Sharing stories, caring for each other. You don't see that everywhere around the world, but you definitely see it in Newfoundland. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there, there is a sense, what is it, it takes a village to raise a child? Yeah. A child. Mm -hmm. Well, in a sense, that's what Newfoundland is. I mean, we're, we're, we're separated from Canada in the sense that we are right out in the Atlantic. Yeah. You know, the only way to get into Newfoundland is either by uh, air or by boat. Mm. Other than that, you can't get there. You can't yeah. drive there. Yeah. So it, it became a real sense of, of community. And not only that, the other thing too is that because it was isolated in such a way, you know, the church became a prominent mm. thing in Newfoundland. Yep. I would say there was a time when perhaps 90% of Newfoundlanders wow. were church going people, yeah. right? And schools were run by the churches. Mm. So they were able to influence a child from the very beginning, mm. <clears throat> right up through those formative years, you know, to grade 11, and had a tremendous impact wow. upon the kids. If I was to go into, I don't know, a bar on George Street or something, and there'd be <laughs> Newfoundland music playing, what kind of instruments would I hear? In you, would hear uh, you would hear, uh, an accordion, mm. a button accordion, not the piano accordion, okay. a button accordion that got the change of sounds yeah. in and out. And you'd also hear a concertina. Okay. That's a big thing. Yeah. And a guitar, <coughs> and uh, maybe a mouth organ, so on and so forth. What about drums? Do they have the drum that has a funny stick? What do they call that? Um, that's a funny name. Crazy stick. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah they've got a stick with all kinds of jingles on it, on it, and they hit it and so on and so forth. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And they'd be singing like, "I used to buy the bills, the boat, and I used to buy the sails," or something like that. Mm. Or they'll sing good folk or songs, uh, stories. Yeah. They can have you. They can have you sob in one moment, <laughs> and the next moment, next moment you're up jumping all over the place, so and so forth. What what does uh, what's the song Eyes to Buy? What's that all about? Well, it, it's again, it's, it's it's a song about the sea, mm. uh, about the guy who builds the boat, okay, and goes out fishing, yeah, so on and so forth. Falls in love, okay. Thinks about Liza, his girl, right, and. Uh, so he makes up a song, and yeah. it becomes a, you know, a song that's been sung for years and years and years and years. Yeah, right. That's something. What are some of the other really popular Newfoundland songs that you might sing? We sing. Uh, this is the place where the fishermen gather okay. with boot strings and something else, and keep hands batten down. Okay. And it's a story about jigging fish. Jigging. What does that mean? Jigging. 
So you go up with a with a line and a little jigger, mm. and you got it on a, on a kind of a reel. So they reel this, and as they reel it, it picks up the squid, and the squid is going all over the place, and there's ink going there and there. <laughs> And, and the fishermen are covered with, with uh, squid ink at the end. Oh my goodness. But it's a lot of fun. As a matter of fact, when Lenny and I were down in Newfoundland a couple of years ago, we went down to Leeton Tickles, and the guys wrote in punts, and they were squid jigging, and we could see the squids coming really? and squirting over the boat. Yeah, it's amazing, okay. really. And then another <clears throat> tradition you have at Christmas is mummering. What's that all about? I, I don't know what the history of it, okay. how it came about. I'm telling you, it was a lot of fun. Not as much anymore because, you know, not many people are doing it. But the two weeks after Christmas Day, uh, people at night would dress up in all kinds of stuff, long rubbers or what have you. And they'd always have a, a mask on of some sort made from a, you know, a pair of bloomers or something <laughs> like that. Pulled up, that's right. And they go with music, yeah. knock on a door, and, and the question would be, any mummers allowed in tonight, right? right? Yes, come on in, come on in. And then, of course, they'd be dancing and jigging and so on and so forth, and people would try to guess who they are and so on and so forth. And once they guessed your name, then you had to take up your mask, right? Mm. Oh, that's Mac Feener. Oh, right? okay. So my mask comes up, right? Yeah. And then after that's all done, they serve um, fruitcake, and Newfoundland syrup. Nice. Yes. That sounds lovely. Yes. Now, uh, just uh, in your observation, how important do you think music is to the culture of the people of Newfoundland? Oh, it, it, it's their life. I mean, they really? could, yeah, they could never exist without music. Yeah. Music gives them a reason for living, in a sense. Because wherever you go, you'll always see people out on the, the, the veranda or out on the bridge, as we call it, in Newfoundland, and they're always singing, you know, yeah. either Christian songs or some kind of Newfoundland jig or what have you. But you know, singing has been such a vital part of Newfoundland. Yeah. For example, uh, I came from a relatively large family. There was seven of us boys. I mean, mm, we wow. And there was never a, a time over the last 50 years mm. when we met together that the accordions and the guitars oh, really? did come out and sing and sing, sometimes till, you know, 12, 1 o'clock at night. Wow. Because singing was such a part of yeah. who we are. That's beautiful. Are you going to sing something for us? Can you play the piano <coughs> accordion for us, Max? So you have to do three things. You've got the, the, the melody on the keys, you, uh, you're s squeezing it. And it more, it's more chord here. Than oh, melody. okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Now, twas 25 or 30 years since Jack first saw the light. He came into this world of all one dark and stormy night. Send it in a shower 
and now said Jack unto himself, I'll see what he's about. He took the whale hole by the tail and turned him inside out. Oh, Jack was every inch a sailor, five and twenty years a whaler. Jack was every inch a sailor, he was born upon the right. And then I'll do this little one for you. Right here. Uh, right where? Eyes to buy to build the boat, and eyes to buy the sails, or eyes to buy to catch the fish, and rings among the lies, or I don't want your magnolia fish. They're no good for the winter. I can buy as good as that down in Bonavista. If your partner sells the boat, if your partner Sally Brown fold with plumbing and Morton's all around the circle. Yay! Thank you, Max. This has been brilliant. And we've really enjoyed your music. Thank you.